Welcome to SPSS Learning Tutorial. This is Shakil Ahmad. In today's tutorial, we learn how to apply a time series models in SPSS. Uh, we start a data of uh, data on daily new cases of some infectious disease starting from uh, about uh, 2012 to 2019 or 20 uh, so in uh, such type of data we have two variables one is the date variable and the second is the uh, study variable and there might be other covariates in our model uh, like uh, the indicator of the uh, new cases or the infectious disease uh, so we first create a variable on date by the option of data and then go to define date and time and uh, you can create daily data or weeks and days and weeks uh, and uh, five working days and uh, hours and days and there are many options for creating date variable i want to choose year month option in uh, this study and uh, select the month as uh, 2012 and uh, the month is January means we are starting from January 2012 and then click on ok uh, we created a new variable uh, of uh, year month and date so it start from January 2012 and ended on uh, July 2019. So this is your time series data, uh, which consists of number of daily cases of some infectious disease. Like uh, in today's uh, era, we see uh, COVID-19 cases per day in different uh, countries or over the world so we start the analysis from forecasting and then uh, you can use create tra traditional model or the seasonal decomposition i first uh, uh, check the seasonal decomposition for the data and the daily new cases are i already sent to the variable box and uh, you can select the multiplicative model or the additive model i want to select the additive model and the moving average weight all points equal means we are gi giving same weight to the all data points and then click on ok and the specification would add four variables to the data file there will be four new variables in your data set so you want to if you want to save all four variables then click on ok so uh, this is the seasonal factors uh, for the 12 months starting from january and ending up to De december and there are uh, four new variables added including error one and uh, says one safe one and stc one these are all uh, related to the uh, time series uh, seasonal decomposition so we now uh, go to the option of traditional model create traditional model uh, in traditional model we sent uh, the daily new cases to the dependent variable and the if we have any covariate then we can send those variables to the independent variables list uh, there are three options one is expert modeler and exponential smoothing and arima so i first uh, choose the exponential smoothing model and then click on uh, uh, statistics 
stationary r square r square and a root mean square error and you can also see residual autocorrelation function and you can also display the forecast values and uh, then go to the plot fit values and convergence interval for the forecasted values and output filter is uh, not necessary to choose as we include all model outputs for now and then go to the option if you want to forecast uh, the data from the last observation last observed month so the month was uh, July 2019 so we select the year as 2019 and uh, the month as uh, August 2019 and uh, then click on uh, OK uh, this is your model type and uh, stationary R square is uh, has value of 0 0.082 and r squared value is 0 0.944 this indicates that uh, the 94.4 percent uh, of the data is explained by the model and the root mean square error value is given by this mean absolute prediction error and maximum absolute prediction error and mean absolute error and maximum absolute error and normalized BIC values uh, these are the minimum values and these are the maximum values and these are the percentiles for each of the statistics and this is your residual SCF summary for different lag values uh, you can notice where uh, which type of uh, uh, differences you need to uh, apply while using ARIMA model basically ARIMA model is, is used when we have some uh, knowledge about the uh, basic structure of the time series model and the stationarity of the model and the model statistics is uh, with R square 0.944 and the root mean square is this and it uh, does not show a significant difference at 5% uh, level of significance uh, using L. Jong box text, uh, test. So, the daily new cases of model 1 is only predicted on uh, uh, at or August for August 2019 so I think we have mistakenly select the option as a, this should be the year for uh, till that you have you are forecasting your data we start forecasting from at 2019 and end uh, 2021 August or 2021st December then click on OK uh, you will see the forecasted line for a uh, month but this is strongly constant giving strongly constant values uh, so we need to uh, adjust for the uh, differences and auto correlation using the ARIMA model These for ARIMA we again go to the option of forecasting and then create model and uh, just uh, select the ARIMA from here uh, you have AR auto regressive and integrate it and moving average all three should be uh, chosen before running the model for example I choose uh, non one for auto regressive this means that uh, we are um, assuming that the error term is uh, depending on its uh, previous value 
with only one value previous means e1 e2 is depending on e1 and e3 is depending on uh, e2 and this is in first linearity we keep it uh, as 2 and the difference is that uh, we see that uh, the difference exists for one leg value and the moving average is also taken as one and then uh, click on continue and then ok uh, you will see the plot again but now it captured the uh, stationarity of the data as it is uh, slightly increasing from uh, the pattern of the data uh, persist in previous time period so this will give a relatively higher r square value as previously we have 0.944 now it is 0.948 as 94.8 percent uh, data is explained by the model so you can uh, choose arima of any order or uh, any type and uh, uh, you can also forecast using exponential smoothing so this is the basic uh, introduction of the SPSS analysis or uh, uh, of time series data uh, you can uh, further explore the time series using other options uh, like given in forecasting option uh, so far now uh, I will uh, quit my lecture series and thank you for watching and uh, supporting the videos thank you